Here to discuss what was discovered is the founder of OpenTheBooks.com, Adam Angievsky. So, Adam, the city provided their checkbook, if you will, for the last year. What have you found within their checkbook log? So it's good to follow the money. It's good to educate the people on where their tax dollars are being spent. And it was a lot of money. It was in terms of vendor spending every single year. Um, it was a half billion dollars, about $500 million that was paid out to 2,515 vendors. Now, most people didn't receive uh, a, a huge largesse from the checkbook. 180 million of it actually went to Clark County right there in Nevada as the city outsources its uh, public safety uh, functions, police and some fire to the county. So 180 million out of the 500 million goes over there to Clark County. What we did find though, on, on some interesting things is the number four vendor that received the most money received 11.5 million and it's a title company, Republic Old Republic Title Services. And they received this money uh, for things like uh, title services for community development grants, right-of-way services on infrastructure and roadway improvement and flood improvement projects. Uh, we noticed that there are basically four title companies that received money last year, had contracts with the city, but 90% of the money did flow to Old Republic. So we're going to uh, file sunshine requests for those contracts and see what the bidding process looked like. And it's just one of those things where I know the city of Las Vegas didn't have a ton of time to get all of their ducks in a row. So they are looking into it, um, being completely transparent with us. But why, Adam, why are you doing this? Is it just because knowledge is power? So you think that citizens should know where money is being spent in their community? Absolutely. We believe transparency revolutionizes United States public policy and politics. So for instance, um, Las Vegas is just one of the top 500 you know, most populous cities in the country. We have all those checkbooks, the states, the federal government, so we can follow the money. One of the things that we noticed from the headlines is that lawyers, um, there's been $7 million spent on lawyers for that Badlands legal battle. And so when you have that amount of money going to lawyers, it 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 takes money away from services. For example, uh, Catholic Charities, they only received $2.2 .2 million. Uh, the Affordable Housing Program received $2.7 million. The uh, communications through Motorola, that was $3 million. The rent assistance at CLV, that was $2.1 million. So when you have lawyers taking millions, it does start to crowd out dollars that could be spent in other areas on people who have real needs. Well, and think about it, some of these mistakes, I'm doing air quotes, we don't know exactly, that were made that the people who made these mistakes maybe aren't even in office anymore, maybe not even working for the city, but yet the city still has to make sure that they fulfill whatever obligation has been put out there. One thing, Adam, I'm seeing within this report, no payouts for police departments killing their citizens like we've seen in other cities throughout America. So that is something to celebrate here in Southern Nevada. And Kim, here's another piece of good news. So, so Las Vegas has the Convention and Visitors Authority. It's a prominent uh, separate unit of government. It collects, uh, you know, it's not funded by taxpayers, but off a room tax. The city of Las Vegas collects that tax for them, sends it over there and is reimbursed for their costs when they collect that tax. And, you know, during the pandemic, the room occupancy rate dropped sharply to 42% in 2020 from 88% the year before the pandemic. The CEO, over, the CEO over there, Stephen Hill, he actually did uh, propose to cut his own pay by 10% during the pandemic. So that's a, uh, that was a piece of good news that did come out of the back and forth and, and public comment requests from the authority. Let's keep the good news going. I will end with this final note. For anyone who does not like paying taxes, you are living in the right state. Nevada enjoys one of the lowest tax thresholds in the entire nation, so you're in the right spot. Adam, thank you. Until next week, my friend, we will see you then.